Hey, we have good news for job seekers, everyone really. The U.S. economy added 263,000 jobs in November. This is according to new data from the Labor Department. Unemployment rate did hold steady at 3.7 percent. Now, these numbers happening while the Fed continues to raise rates in an effort to cool the economy and slash inflation. Despite those promising numbers, though, some on Wall Street, like Bank of America, are predicting a recession at the beginning of next year. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us now live from Washington. Margaret, there seem to be mixed messages from economists. What's happening here? Well, there are some confusing signals out there, to be very frank, and we are in just an incredibly uh, complicated moment. What we know from um, some of the uh, economic projections are that uh, a recession is expected in the new year, that at the moment, we are seeing signs the global economy is slowing due to inflation and due to interest rates rising. But consumers are spending going into the holiday season. We saw in the jobs number that was released today that wages are still going up and hiring was happening at least uh, over the past month. And then we got these headlines that media companies like CNN are cutting jobs, that technology companies like Amazon and DoorDash are also uh, slicing their payroll. So the question is, uh, what does this cutback or pullback feel like? Um, will it be severe or will this be a mild recession, as some like at Bank of America are predicting? We will have their CEO on Sunday's program to ask him that uh, because this affects every American. Well, we definitely will not want to miss that. Looking forward to your interviews. Margaret, thank you. You can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030 right here on WBZ.